we have the example of the integral uh, calculus, uh, different types of example. No? And then we apply this, uh, the following uh, formulas, no? as you can see, uh, 1 to 4, no? formulas of integration, which is or the basic integral. Lang, no? So this uh, basic integral is commonly used exponential and the logarithmic uh, functions no mga example na niya din din the trigonometric uh, functions then hyperbolic inverse then integration by parts then the trigonomet uh, trigonometric uh, substitution okay so this is always or these are the the used commonly no so for the example, the problem uh, given number one, the integral of all dx. So we all know that uh, and the equivalent and the derivatives of this. So that is equals to 4x plus uh, c. Okay, so that is the final answer. So why? Uh, as you can see the, the 4 dx, no? Then, so take note that the x to the power uh, 0 that is equals to 1 okay so when you apply the integral uh, formulas of this so we have x to the power 0 plus 1 then this can be that is equals to x so therefore we obtain for x plus 1 through this uh, formula which is number three okay so another example problem number two uh, the integral of 4x dx okay so this can be uh, 4 x uh, 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 then plus uh, c or that is equals to the uh, 1 plus 1 that is equals to 2 and then 4 over 2 that is uh, two. So therefore, x to the power uh, squared, no, or x squared, then plus uh, c. So that is the final answer. The next, the example number three. So we have example number three is the same as the example number two. So we have here two, then the exponent of t that is one, then plus one over 1 plus 1 plus uh, c that is equals to 1 plus 1 that is 2 so 2 over 2 that is 1 so therefore we have uh, t squared then plus c so that is the final answer then another is the integral of 3x to the fourth 5 dx so that is equals to 3 x to the power 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 then plus c here okay so this can be 3 over 6 then x to the power 6 then plus c or 1 half x to the power 6 then plus c okay so when you try uh, to check this antiderivative equivalent of the given through by using the differential calculus okay so so the derivative of one half x over six plus c so that is equals to six over two then x uh, five minus one then the derivative of c that is uh, constant no so plus zero so don't forget the formula of the deriv derivatives, which is the in terms of power formula, no? So the derivative of u to the word n, that is equals to n u to the word n minus 1 uh, du, okay? So therefore, we have here uh, x over 2, that is 3 x to the power, uh, sorry, this can be 6. 6 minus 1, okay, that is 5. Okay, so therefore we can uh, 
So we have we, or we come up the same okay to this uh, problem given 3x to the, to the power 5 no. Okay. So another example the integral of 2 over x cubed dx. So we must uh, get the inverse of x cubed no. So this can be x to the power negative 3 or the integral of 2x to the power negative 3 dx. So that is equals to 2x to the power negative 3 plus 1 over negative uh, 3 plus 1 and then plus c. Okay. So we have uh, 2 over negative 2 then x to the power negative 2 then plus c. So, this can be 2 over negative 2, that is negative, uh, 1 over x to the power uh, 2, then plus c. Again, the, the inverse function, or the inverse equivalent of x to the power negative 2, that is equals to uh, 1 over x squared. No? Then don't forget to have the negative, okay? So, therefore... Uh, negative 1 over x to the power, to the power 2 no? plus c. So that is the final answer. Then another uh, example is the integral of the square root of x dx. So we uh, remove that uh, radical symbol. No? So we have the integral of 1 half uh, dx. So that is equals to, uh, by using the uh, power formula of the integral, so that is equals to x uh, 1 half plus 1 over 1 half uh, plus 1 and plus c. So that is equals to x to the power uh, 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 then plus c. Or that is equals to the uh, 2 over uh, 3, the square root of x cubed, then plus c. No? So that is the final answer. In this case of the problem given, uh, we integrate individually no? by terms. So we have the integral of 4, that is 4x plus 3 over 7 x to the power uh, 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 then minus 6 x to the power 4 uh, plus 1 over 4 plus 1 then plus uh, c okay. to finalize our answer so we have for uh, x then plus uh, 3 over 7 times uh, 1 third so that is equals to x cubed over 7 then minus uh, 4 plus 1 here is 5 so therefore x uh, 6 over 5 then x to the power uh, 5 then plus a uh, c so that is the final answer. So problem number 8, the integral of the quantity of uh, 2x as x to the power 6 minus 3x to the power 8 over 4x squared dx. No? Okay. So to integrate this, so we have the integral of uh, 2 to the power 6 over 4x squared dx. Then minus the integral of the 3x to the power 8 over 4x squared uh, dx. Okay. So we have uh, 2 over 4, that is 1 half, or the integral of uh, 1 half. Then uh, we can simplify in the x to the power 6 over the x squared, no? And then that is equals to the x to the power 4 
in dx okay then minus three fourth uh, then also we simplify the x toward eight over the x squared no so that is equals to x to the power six then dx so we have one half here then the integral of x to the power four uh, dx then minus uh, three over four then the integral of x to the power six dx okay so again uh, we can now integrate since our problem given is simplified then we have one half then x to the power four plus one then over four plus one then minus three fourth times x to the power six plus one over the six plus one no? then we have plus c here then to finalize our answer so one half times the one fifth so that is one over ten x to the power uh, five then minus the six plus one that is seven then seven uh, times four that is twenty eight so three over twenty eight then x to the power seven uh, plus c so that is the final answer number nine the integral of the quantity of one minus two t uh, square dt no uh, uh, in this case uh, this type of the problem given no so let uh, u so that is equals to one minus two uh, t okay so we can derive this uh, the equivalent of u so the derivative of u that is uh, du okay so that uh, the derivative of one minus two t so that is equals to negative uh, two dt no okay so to obtain dt equivalent so that is equals to uh, du over negative two okay so we can now uh, substitute the equivalent of dt and the equivalent of uh, u no and the problem given okay so we need to change the problem given no? so therefore you squared to take that we have the power or the multiplier which is a uh, two no then dt here times a uh, du over negative two no then we can write like this uh, negative one half then the integral of u squared uh, du so we can integrate this no so we have one half here then u 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 then plus uh, c okay so we have uh, 2 plus 1 that is 3 then uh, one third times uh, negative one half that is uh, negative 1 over 6 no then the u to the power 3 no plus c okay so we can now substitute the value of for the equivalent of u no so that is equals to 1 or negative 1 over 6 times 1 minus 2t or the quantity of 1 minus 2t to the power 3 no then plus a c so that is the final answer okay so to check this by using the formulas of the differential or we need to derive no? okay so we have 1 over 6 here in the derivative of a uh, quantity of 1 minus 2t to the power 3 no so that is 3 then times 1 minus 2t then 3 minus 1 then we apply chain rule no then we have 1 minus 2t for the derivative of 1 minus 2t that is a uh, negative 2 and the derivative of uh, c c is constant so that is equals to zero then we have a negative 3 over 6 here then 
negative 2 here then quantity of uh, 1 minus 2 t then to the power 2 then we have a uh, negative 3 times negative 2 that is 6 no 6 over 6 that is 1 so therefore we obtain this the equivalent of derivatives no so 1 minus 2 t to the power 2 okay so therefore our uh, given or the equivalent antiderivative as uh, correct no so as you can see the integral of 1 minus or uh, the quantity of 1 minus 2 t to the power 2 no okay the same this so therefore our answer is uh, correct so number 10 uh, the integral of 1 over x dx so take note uh, we can use the theorem number 4 so which is the integral of 1 over u du is equals to ln u then plus c no? so therefore since our u here is x okay so through the formula uh, when you apply no so that is equals to ln u then plus c so where u here is x so therefore ln x then plus c so that is the final answer again so another example of that is uh, what is the integral of the 1 over x minus 1 uh, dx okay so since uh, we have here x minus 1 so therefore uh, we can apply this uh, when you apply the formula no? so that is equals to ln x minus 1 then plus c so that is the final answer then uh, another example is what is the integral of 1 minus uh, 1 minus x okay or the what is the integral of the 1 over uh, quantity of 1 minus x dx no? okay. again to solve this uh, let's say u here that is equals to 1 minus x then the derivative of u that is du then the derivative of 1 minus x that is uh, negative or dx no? okay or where dx here that is equals to negative du no? okay so therefore uh, we change the problem given okay so we have 1 over a u for the integral of 1 over u then times negative uh, du you know okay so to, since our uh, formula in theorem number 4 the integral of 1 over u du is equals to ln u plus c so therefore we have here a negative ln u plus a c okay so substitute the equivalent of u which is 1 mi minus x no? so therefore 1 ln then 1 minus x then plus uh, c so again the equivalent answer of this uh, problem given that is equals to negative ln 1 or the quantity of 1 minus x plus c okay so that is the final answer so that is the final answer.